Hey everybody, I am back with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I make this cute little bow. I'm using this bow for a doll. As you can see, this one is two-toned. You can make it all one solid color. Um, it, it just adds a cute little touch to anything. You can add it to just about anything. Um, but if you are new to my channel, I'm currently doing videos based on the projects that I'm working on. If there are any techniques that you would like me to do a tutorial for, just comment and let me know and I'll get those videos posted for you. But in the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the tutorials. So let's go ahead and get started on the bow. Right now I have already chained 16 and if you need to know how to slip knot and chain I do have a video tutorial up, up for that so you start with a chain of 16 and then you're going to double crochet into that second stitch from your chain so where your chain is coming out don't count that one one two this is where you're going to start and you're going to do three double crochets starting in that chain so one in each stitch so And I do have a video up, I don't know if I said that already, on um, how to do a double crochet. But I'll go slow here so you can at least see what I'm doing. Two. Three. And so those first two stitches that you skipped in the beginning, that counts as your first double crochet. So you have four. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to do two half double crochet. And to do a half double crochet, I don't have a video on that. So let me go ahead and walk you through that now. You yarn over, insert, draw up a loop. And you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. Real easy. Yarn over insert yarn over pull through all three okay that's a half double crochet now you're going to do three single crochet yes there is a video for a single crochet as well I learned how to crochet watching other people's YouTube videos and googling the different stitches and so I am just returning the love. Two half double crochet. And then four double crochet. Three and four. Okay, now chain two. Turn your work. Four double crochet starting in that first stitch. And on the second row, that chain two does not count as a stitch. So you do your four cro double crochet, your two half double crochet. Three single crochet. Two 
to half double crochet. And four double crochet. And then you're going to go stitch right into the top of that chain. And that's the fourth double crochet. Chain two and repeat that. Four double crochet. Two half double crochet, three single crochet, two half double crochet. and four double crochet. And you repeat that row two more times so you have a total of five rows so I'm going to go ahead and finish my bow and when I get to my fifth row to the end of the fifth row I'll come back and show you the next step okay now I have five rows one two three four five now we're going to just single crochet all the way around to create a smooth edge border like this one. Okay, so we're going to chain one. And single crochet evenly across. Make it smooth. In each stitch. Make sure you try to go in between the yarn so that uh, there aren't any gaps. Can't get in there. There we go. We're going to end up crocheting over that tail so it's going to be hidden. Oops. So you see how I went underneath that and there's a space there? 
that's why you want to make sure you go in between the yarn so you don't have those spaces. It just makes it look a little neater. And take this tail, pull it, fold it down, keep working around the corner. And you're just doing that crochet all the way around. So when I get back around, um, you can actually leave a long tail. You can finish off, but leave a long tail. And I'll be back and show you how to do the next step. Okay, I'm coming up on my final edging. Uh oh, I got all tangled up. Get back in focus. All right. So, I don't know if I said this when I got to that last corner, but you're going to do three single crochet in the corners. So, I am here at this corner and I'm going to do three. In that corner and that's how the corner will be nicely rounded and then just keep going Trying to get in between the yarn inside the stitches as much as you possibly can. And it doesn't have to be like perfectly neat because once you attach the two panels, you're gonna go over it again and that's gonna you know, really smooth it out for you. So I'm back at another corner here. So we'll do three. Didn't get in there. Oh, this wasn't even the last side. I still have this here because I started there. There's no row of single crochets across there, so I still have to go across the top. And once you get to the end, you could actually finish off here if you, you know, if this bow was suffice for you. I want mine to be a little more sturdy. So that's why I do the two panels stitched together. And don't worry if it starts to curl up like that. Um, I like to crochet with very tight tension. As you can see, I don't hold my yarn in the conventional way. I do what's comfortable for me, what works for me. And I like for my stitches to be a little tighter than most people. But it all ends up working out in the end. As long as it comes out... Um, your project comes out the way you want it in the end. It doesn't really matter how you hold your yarn. I 
All right. And then you're going to slip stitch to that first stitch. And like I said, you can actually cut off here and be done. And then you would just take your yarn needle and your yarn and kind of, you know, cinch your bow in the center and just sew it down through the center. And then you could just wrap it around to create, you know, the bowed look. So I am going to actually go and make this for a second time using my second color. And when I'm done with that, I'll come back and show you how I attach them and finish it off. If you are done, by the way, if you are stopping here, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you're continuing on, Yes, I will be back to show you how to attach both panels. All right, so I have come all the way around. I've already slip stitched to the end, so I'm just gonna finish that off. And if this is the color or you're using, you know, one solid color, don't finish off. Um, of course, you're gonna keep going, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine off. And this is what I have. It doesn't really look like a bow, but the secret is in the finishing of the bow. So let's get my other panel. I still have my yarn attached. And you're going to put them together with the wrong sides facing. So you can kind of tell which one is the wrong side. The stitches don't look as neat. So I'm going to put them together with the wrong size facing. One of my yarns um, is actually smaller than the other. So my two panels are a little different in size, but that's actually okay because it gives my bow that, that puffy look when I go to cinch it. So I actually like the way that turned out. Um, but if this happens to you and you'd rather it all be um, one size, you could go ahead and do like another row of single crochet all the way around, making sure you do three in the corners and that will give you, you know, the same size. So what I'm going to do is just single crochet. Oh, where's my tail? Okay. I'm going to single crochet both panels together. So I'm actually going to chain one and try to join them as closely as possible. You're gonna go into the next stitch of both panels. And just single crochet them together. And you just do that all the way around, working in any tails that you have, if you cut off like I did. So I'm gonna continue working my single crochet all the way around, and I'll come back for the final steps. Almost done. Okay, I have single crocheted all the way around, so I've gotten both of my panels attached. So now I am just going to finish off, but I'm going to leave a really long tail because your tail is going to do your cinching and it's going to wrap around. So you want to make sure you leave one long enough. Oh, and then I'm also attaching it to my doll. So I'm going to use that same tail of yarn to stitch it down to the doll as well. All right. So let's finish it off. Okay. And then you need a yarn needle. Any size works. I 
All right, and since you know your tail is over here in the corner, I just take it, stick it right through the center of both panels, and I try to come out here in the back. And that row of single crochets there. And don't pull so tight because it will pull it in just like that. So don't pull too tight. All right, so now we're here. So I'm going to just kind of pinch my bow and because I've got both sides, it's a little thick. So we just pinch it down like that. Then you're gonna take your yarn needle and you're gonna come through the single crochet right there. You're gonna go through the center, come out the bottom of the center and go through this single crochet at the bottom. And then just pull it. Uh -uh. Now, again, be careful you don't pull so tight that that corner starts to pull in. So you want to hold that corner. Okay. And now you're going to go through one more time, but this time you're going to come. Through that next crochet, single crochet there at the bottom. Pull a little tighter. And go through again. Alright, and you see now it's starting to give you that shape of a bow and if you want you can do it again I stopped there there's the other side but you know you just keep going and playing with it until you get it to be the shape that you want your bow to be so this is good enough for me so now I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around I'm trying to make sure it doesn't create that lip and trying to wrap evenly. Okay, and I think that's good. So now we on this back side here. So I'm going to just take the yarn needle and go up under a few of those strings here. And we're just gonna knot it off. And come back up through. Knot it off and it leaves the tail to be attached and there you have it and then you just kind of play with it a little bit to get it to look like what you want it to look like they're not always going to be identical but as long as they come out to be a bow you have been successful thank you guys again for watching this video um, and learning how to make a bow with me don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and stay tuned for the next one.